Nation at that group of Christian trains, American people, government, fishermen, firemen, teachers, police officers, postal carriers, president and cabinet members. God bless you at that across the globe. Thus we see such a connection with God, which was not instituted by man, but which is breathed down in an unbroken line of life from the living God, uh, being separate from those who even are of Israel. They are not the lifeline which Moses himself wished for. With these words, would God that all the Lord's people were prophets? That's what Moses said. That's what he wished for. Numbers 11 and 29. All right? Understand that. And that the Lord will put his spirit upon them. Like he did the prophet Isaiah in 61, chapter 61. And like he did with Jesus in Luke chapter 4, 18 through 21 verses. There are many things that come down from the Lord. The name of few of everything that God had made and caused would still boggle the mind of his believers, to name a few of those. We start with Genesis 1 and 1. For his grand creation of everything. And since we know from Revelation 21 and 1 that the first heaven, Shamayim, and the first earth or lamb of Genesis 1 and 1 were passed away, it stands to the reason of good sense that the first passed from God uh, before they would finally pass away, carrying their space away also with them, which was their immaterial witness for them. We might as well work on... Uh, going right back through the Bible from this vantage point back into the direction of Genesis 1 and 1. Since we are to make uh, a name of everything that has come down from God of the old system of the world. Now, that's a vast amount of an undertaking. But when you are with God, when you are having fun with God, I keep that in mind. That's one thing you need to know. You need to know that God will show you things beyond what you think that you know. That's what he does. His spirit. And you may say, I'm well educated. That may be the case. But let's not forget. God has taken the foolish things of the world to compound who? Those that are wise. Taken the weak things of the world to uh, uh, base those that were strong. So, you know, you can say that you are, but it's not trying to prove it to me or prove it to people. It's proven to God. Prove to God what he has done to you, for you, and through you. Mind you, we've said many times that your work means nothing to God. When it means compared to the word of God, I don't care what you build, how grand your ministry is, how vast the amount of members you may have, how great your cathedral is, how great your empire is, how great the world that you've got is, your works and things mean nothing to God when it's compared to the Word of God because the Word of God formed everything. Try to compare with that if you can. All right? We'll give you some knowledge about these things and the higher knowledge of God, but this is what you need to know. The higher knowledge of God. And the only way you're going to know the higher knowledge of God is come out from under. Under what? Oppression. Come out from under. Under what? God tells us, don't call that name. So I can't call the name, but I'll put it this way. Coming out from under the Lord, L-O-E-D, the load that you're bearing. Why are you bearing a load when God said, in many cases, the battle ain't yours, it's mine. All right? I'll help you when you turn the battle to the gate. All right? 
I keep you in perfect peace. You keep your mind stayed on me. When you rise up in the morning, when you fly through the air, swim, ride, walk, jog. Think about me, he says. Love me with all your heart, soul, mind, spirit, and body. All right? Keep the word. We don't do that. All right? Lay aside every week, which so easily beset you. We don't do that. Have the mind of Christ. We don't do that either. All right? We don't do a lot of things the Bible said we ought to do. Yet we claim, oh, well, I pay my tithes. There's no salvation in paying tithes. Nowhere in the Bible that found that there's salvation in paying tithes. All right? Keep that in mind. All right? And there's a great deal of amount of knowledge beyond all that you hear me saying uh, right now. Uh, we talked about... Uh, we named a few of the things that came down from God of the old system. Beholding John, beholding the holy city, New Jerusalem. Beholding John, beholding the holy city, New Jerusalem, coming down from God out of heaven. Notice that. Prepared as a bride adorned for her husband. Revelation 21 and 2. Go through that scripture again and pay close attention to what you're reading. While you behold John, behold this great grand phenomenon. And uh, keep one thing in mind. This do not belong to the old system of the world. This great revelation do not belong to the old system of, of the world of Genesis 1 and 1. You got to understand that. That's, I hope you understand that uh, 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 gold gem uh, study city Transparent gold, uh, 1,400 miles uh, in a cube uh, coming down uh, from God out of heaven. Oh, I understand this and see it. And I do hope that you do really see it and understand there's a whole lot of knowledge there. There's a great amount. There are worlds of knowledge here that you need to understand that is not being taught, that have not been taught that have not come down through the history of the church unto the world. Now, I know this. I've known the church all the way back before the church was on earth, period, because the Bible speaks of a church in heaven. All right? So you have to understand these things and know these things uh, from the Lord. You're not going to know these things to have fun with God if you don't uh, 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 qualify. You have to, first of all, qualify to have fun and to have these things revealed. It's not like God saying to Israel, you made me serve you through your sins. That's not the proper way to serve God or to have God serve you either. All right? Now, uh, uh, clearly, you must take the clear distinction of those things coming down from heaven and coming down from God. You must make a clear distinction between the things coming down from heaven and the things coming down from God. Now, I want to make this quite clear. Those that are coming down from heaven and those that are coming down from God. Uh, but wait a minute. I thought everything came down from heaven came down from God. Well, apparently you don't know what God said about heaven, do you? All right. I know what he said. Hear, O heavens. Uh, I'll go into that the next time, but let's hold fast what you got. The Bible says, hold that what you got. We'll hold fast that for the next time. God bless you, global Christian friends.